It's the complimentary breakfast. Prof Emboro is with us. Um, this man has been controversial since 2011. Maybe before that, we just don't know about it. But yeah, yeah. a lot of people have been talking about him and all sorts of things. The latest story went, that went internationally. That story of yeah. going to heaven and taking yeah. pictures. And then they said the next story that came through, and I just want to ask you about it. They said you're going... And, and, and it's a church that has put that story. Oh, it? It's yeah. competition. It's a church. The other story was Pastor Bora is going to go to heaven and live stream mm. from heaven. And we can watch it on the internet. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. So truth or dare, that's <laughs> that's not the truth, apparently. Okay, here's the next one. And this is the big one. And I, when you spoke to Lali about it as well, you mentioned it. And everyone was talking about this story. The first time I heard about you was when people were talking about the 17-year-old girl that came for healing. Oh, yes. And yes. a Sunday World journal, uh, journalist was there, and he said, Pastor Mboro pumped his fingers into her vagina while ordering her to call him Mboro. Truth, well, or, truth or day? Uh, it's, 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 it's day. It's false. And why don't you invite that girl yourself and speak and see the footage of that day? Because she had stuff. Also, the medical doctor, they found something in, in, in her womb. It was racing, going up. And I spoke the way. Then she was healed. We never undressed her. Okay. You didn't never have, happened. You didn't use holy water and rub it into her vagina? No, man. No. No. Okay. No. All right. So let's just call it truth or false because I okay, was going to run out of time. Okay, so false. false. Now, obviously, I'm asking you these questions. I can't prove it. I have no visuals of yeah, this. I'm, yeah. I'm, I have I'm visuals just, of I'm, it. I'm talking of, of this incident. Yes, I do. Okay. So that's the first one. You never touched this girl no, on, no. Uh, in her vagina at all. No, no, okay. no, no. That's the first one. The next one is at a radio show at Urban Brew, you pitched there with your fully armed bodyguards. Everyone had weapons with them and intimidated poor Cooley Roberts. She said she still has nightmares about the radio interview. I'll, I'll call that false because we're experiencing it with you now. Yeah, yeah. These yeah, guys no. don't have automatic weapons. But no. here's, here's my question to you. A man of God, why do you need all the bodyguards? Mm. Do you see my head? I've got scars here. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, there's one of the cars uh, where it was shot with many holes. Uh, you know, people who are very close to me, they were believed to be having money there. And none of, the, none of them was touched by that bullet, those bullets. Oh. We still have those images. So the next one, uh, and I'm going to ask you, the, this thing has been around as well for a while. Uh, you're saying you are just as talented as T.B. Joshua, the prophet from Nigeria. that true? No. T.B. Joshua, when I heard of him now, and it's not the first time. They said, I, I, I said, he must pay. They, they, they said I said things about T.B. Joshua. I believe T.B. Joshua is a man of God in Nigeria. God uses him in his own way. I started at an early age. I started at, at, at 16, 15 years. So there was no Nigerian or... or uh, no, he's not my role model. So you're better than T.B. Joshua. I am not better than T.B. Joshua. I'm different. Question to you is... Not a me. Short answer. Why should I touch myself while you're praying for me? Why should I touch myself? You participate... We agree in prayer. The Bible says if two agrees, you do something. The Bible says we shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. I make you use your own hand. To touch myself. You use your own hand. Can I put it on my heart? Anyway, anyway. Okay, so, but you tell people, touch your vuvuzela, exactly. touch your biscuit. You tell and them. And right now, I, I think I'm going to be robbed. I'm going to pray because I will leave here without doing it. No, 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 no. We, you we, know, we want a prayer from you. You know. But I, we're not, we can't touch ourselves. It's, it's too early. <laughs> we still have to because work. at the end of the day, for me, it makes no point that we debate while somebody who needs the touch of God. Yeah. And what do I say to God? God has given me the opportunity to bring a, a, a healing. And I'm arguing, I'm okay. arguing. After no, okay. that, I leave. No, no. And we, somebody's we'll left the that. same. I promise you we'll get to Do that. Do you Just promise on air we, that you will give me that You chance. will have the opportunity to pray, All right, but I, a short prayer. Yeah. yeah. No, it can't go on forever. <laughs> no, it can't go on forever. And you okay. are listening. God is busy touching you right now. Believe. Don't wait for me to, to, to start praying. Okay. Here's uh, it. Let me, God let me, is doing it. Touch let, yourself. And, and touch the radio <laughs> and, and believe God because he's healing you right now. <laughs> no, I'm not going to because at the end, well, that's at the end nobody's touched. 
At the end, nobody's touched. I'm not here I promise for, you for we'll, arguments. I promise you we'll get to it. I made you a promise. We'll get to it. Yeah. But I gotta ask you these things, Pastor. You know that. No, no, I know that. It's the complimentary breakfast.